my favorite sandwich, you know what it was? Bread, butter, and anchovies. People say, ah, anchovies, you know, everything you cook in South Italy, there's anchovies. You like anchovies? Come on, pizza with anchovies. My name is Roberto Paciullo. I'm the owner of Zerato Nove, restaurant in the Bronx. My name is Ciro Parada. I'm the chef at Zerato Nove in the Bronx. I grew up in Salerno. I used to go with my father in this popular restaurant and I used to smell the pizza they used to make, uh, the fresh tomato and basil, and uh, the smell of this pizzeria when I left when I was 17 years old, like create exactly the same pizza in New York. Everybody knows the pizza napoletana because the first pizza was made in Naples, right? In Naples, the pizza, they make a little bit more soft, you know, in Salerno it's a little more crunchy, and we use the same ingredient, flour, water, mozzarella, and tomato. But just we make the pizza in Salerno a little bit more crispy. You know, you can make so many different pizza. But the original pizza called the Pizza Margherita, and just to me, that's pizza. The way you make a margarita from Salerno is with mozzarella, tomato, basil, and olive oil cooked in 800 degree oven till it's done. Every morning we make the mix. The mix is only four ingredients. It's flour, water, salt, and a little bit of yeast. It's mixed slowly and then it's let to ferment outside for 24 hours. One of the big differences between American pizza and Italian pizza is American pizza you take it straight from the refrigerator. Italian pizza has to be room temperature because if you cook it, it's too dense. It won't get crispy, it'll be soggy. It doesn't work. Our pizza is made on the table because it's very important for us to have an even pizza when it cooks. Uh, so we stretch it out to about 10 inches. We put a little bit of sauce. Uh, we put the basil first and we put the mozzarella on top of the basil because if you don't, the basil will burn. The mozzarella we get is actually day old mozzarella that we get from Orazio. It's Casa del Mozzarella. If it's fresh, it's too watery and when it melts in the pizza, it'll destroy the pizza. It has to be allowed to drain and dry in the refrigerator before it's able to be used. We put a little bit of olive oil on top into the oven, not even 90 seconds later, it's done. We are exactly the same oven we use in Salerno, and we use wood. It's made to be heated in the morning, use it throughout the uh, day. If you actually look inside the oven, the oven is domed. The flame is not only going up, but it's going around. So when you're cooking the pizza, you actually have to keep on moving it, put it towards the ceiling of the oven. If you don't, it doesn't cook. Typical pizza from Salerno is the marinara. It's uh, tomato sauce, anchovies, capers, and basil, and a little bit of fresh oil. It sounds simple, but it's very good. It has a lot of depth. The anchovies, capers, is so good. We get great anchovies here, Fire to Revenue. All the meat and fish and all my produce, everything is Fire to Revenue. Everything. Actually, they should make me the mayor on Fire to Revenue. I spend so much money on Fire to Revenue. <laughs> I grew up in a family of 11 kids, six brothers and five sisters. And my house, back home, was a restaurant every day. You know, my father was a great chef, he cooked. And every day, as soon as he finished eating, everything was good today, what are we gonna eat tomorrow? That's the way I grew up. And you know, it's amazing, when you leave your country when you're young, and you bring back the smell and the taste of food back home, always stays with you. I'm in the kitchen, I cook, it still reminds me the same smell my mother and my father used to cook. Just peasant food symbol. Whatever I cook, I cook only what I like to eat and that's what we do in Roberto and Zerotonome.